Hey there, YouTube. Corn Cobb Piper coming at you. Uh, it is Saturday afternoon. Hope everybody's having a uh, great weekend. Welcome to uh, the first episode of uh, ever of Puffin um, Autumn Aromatics. This is going to be uh, my aromatic side of the reviews that I'm doing for the autumn season. Posted a video a couple of days ago of the uh, blends that I planned on smoking. Uh, during this autumn season and plenty of them are going to be aromatics. There's a couple Virginias in there one Burley um, But this specific part of it's going to be called puffin uh, autumn aromatics uh, Today's review is going to be uh, one of my all-time favorite aromatics and that's going to be Strauss's uh, Sleepy hollow uh, This is a pumpkin spice uh, aromatic and a little bit about Strauss, uh, they have two locations, one in Cincinnati, Ohio, and then one right over uh, the uh, Ohio River into Kentucky, in Florence, Kentucky. The one in Cincinnati is original. Uh, I am born and raised in Ohio, got my Ohio State shirt on, getting ready to watch my Buckeyes uh, beat up on the uh, Maryland uh, Terps here in a few minutes. Uh, so I wanted to get this, this review done before I started watching the game. So a little bit about Strauss, they are the third oldest uh, uh, tobacconist in the U.S., uh, continuously running tobacconist in the U.S. Um, they've been around since 1880, uh, which puts them at 137 years old. And I believe the oldest is uh, Yvonne Reese in Chicago. And then number two would be uh, L.J. Peretti out of Boston, Mass. Um, I did, like I said, this is one of my all-time uh, favorite aromatics. I've been smoking this stuff for a long while. Now, Strauss, you can't, they don't do online orders, uh, but I will post the link down to their website in the description box. If you want to order some, all you have to do is give them a call. This stuff is not available uh, all year round, but this time, uh, the fall season, uh, is usually when they have it, and I know that it's in stock right now and available to order. And if you are into aromatics or thinking about trying an aromatic out, this would definitely rank highly on my list as one of them uh, that you should give a go. This is a Black Cavendish, Golden Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia. I'll go ahead and adjust the camera here quickly. And we will go ahead and show you what this stuff looks like. So basically it's just a two colored, two colored blend. It's coarse cut. Uh, it feels rather moist when you touch it. However, um, when you put it back in a pipe at this moisture level, it burns perfect. So this stuff is going to feel wet. Uh, I don't find any need to dry this out. Uh, I believe it's just the topping that they put on here uh, that makes it feel uh, somewhat moist. And basically all you're going to get is uh, two colors. So the light brown and uh, the dark black. Uh, so pretty cool. It kind of almost reminds me of the look of it like uh, uh, decaying autumn leaves. So pretty cool, uh, pretty cool there. Go ahead and readjust here. All right, there we go. Again, we'll go ahead and pour this back into the bag and uh, we'll do a, a pouch note. So pouch note on this is definitely what I pick up. Honey nutmeg, vanilla, and a hint of cinnamon. Now, uh, from what the information I found, this is topped with a pumpkin spice, which is cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and clove. Uh, also a little bit of vanilla. Uh, I do not detect any uh, scent of ginger or clove in the scent of this. Uh, this is also listed uh, as a ribbon cut, but I would call this more of a, a, uh, a coarse cut. And um, the, the tastes that I pick up are similar to the smell. Uh, of the tobacco itself Let me go ahead and get this guy lit up and we'll go ahead and talk about the taste profile By the way, I am smoking this sleepy hollow out of one of my very own cob mobs that I did cob mods that I did Is a Morgan nose nose warmer uh, transformed into a uh, jack-o-lantern so for an aromatic, this stuff does, like I said, does not burn hot. Uh, I don't get tongue bite from this stuff. Um, I, I have to believe that I probably have somewhat of a sensitive tongue when it comes to tongue bite. I'll smoke a blend um, and if it gives me tongue bite, I'll dry it out or, and try smoking a little bit slower. If I still give get tongue bite, I won't give the blend a third try.
this blend has never given me any of those issues. Uh, from what I've read, nicotine level is low on this. Room note is awesome. My wife enjoys the smell of this stuff. She says it does smell like uh, pumpkin pie in the air. The biggest thing about this blend is though, even though it's topped and it's heavily topped, you can still taste the tobacco flavor from the first light all the way to the end of the bowl. Now, being this is an aromatic, it's not going to burn down to a fine wet ash. You are going to get some dottle in the bottom of the bowl, but it is not, you know, like the goopy, super wet dottle. But you are going to end up with some of that. So we'll talk about the, the tobacco taste first, uh, and then we'll get to the topping notes. So from every puff that I get of this stuff, I get notes of the topping as well as the tobacco. Definitely get some nuttiness uh, from the burley in here, um, but nothing is, uh, none of these aspects are overpowering. It's a very, very good meld of the tobacco. Uh, there is really no star of the show of the four tobaccos that are in here, but you could definitely pick them all out. So burley, I get the, you know, the classic nuttiness. Don't pick up any molasses or chocolate, but the, the nuttiness is definitely there. From the black Cavendish, um, definitely pick up uh, some vanilla notes and you could pick that up in the smell of the uh, pouch note as well. Golden Cavendish, uh, I definitely pick up some honey. And then in the Virginia, uh, the Virginia is probably the least amount of tobacco that's added in here of the four, but you will still from time to time get some wisps of grassy hay-like notes which is my favorite part of a Virginia. Now for the topping notes. What I pick up from the uh, start all the way to the finish is uh, cinnamon, caramel, maple, and nutmeg. So while this smells a lot like pumpkin spice, uh, room note wise, the biggest thing that I get from this is cinnamon and caramel. And then always that taste of the tobacco uh, as well This uh, this would be the one blend if those of you out there who don't like aromatics uh, But are thinking about you know looking for maybe possibly an aromatic that you may like This would be the first one that I would recommend to anybody Just because you could so clearly taste the tobacco in each puff uh, But this is very very nicely topped in the perfect way. This is just a perfect combination of top topping and tobacco uh, tastes melded together. I can't really speak highly enough about this tobacco. And there's a few, there's a few aromatics that I really, really like uh, a lot. Uh, you will find with this, you'll need to do probably a few relights. At least I always do, which isn't isn't any kind of an issue or anything, uh, unless your lighter is out. So I guess maybe I'll just keep talking about the taste without puffing because I'm not going to go uh, find a lighter here. So, uh, you know, this would be the one that I would say to you if you're looking for an aromatic and you're not really an aromatic smoker, but you're looking for something to smoke around the Halloween or uh, the holiday season uh, or the winter or something you want to smoke in the house that doesn't uh, disturb anybody else, but you still get those tobacco flavors from, this would be the one that I would say to reach for. Um, there's, like I said, there are a few aromatic tobaccos that I really like. If you put a gun to my head and told me to pick one, this would probably be the one that I picked. Um, so you're probably gonna, you know, guess that I'm gonna give this one a fairly high rating. So for Strauss's uh, Sleepy Hollow, I give this one a five out of five stars. Can't really say enough about this, uh, this tobacco. It really, really is, in my opinion, as close as you can get to a perfect aromatic, uh, at least from my perspective. And it's also great for this time of the year. It's got all those right combinations, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the, the, uh, the honey, the maple, um, you know, all the, all the correct components. And then you get to enjoy uh, those nice tobacco tastes at the same time. So once again, five out of five stars for uh, Strauss Tobacconist uh, Sleepy Hollow. Once again, I'll post the link down to their website below if you want to pick some of this up. 
Like I said, it is not available all year long, but they usually have some this time of the year. Definitely would recommend picking yourself up at least a couple ounces. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the first episode of uh, Puffin Autumn Aromatics. And as always, you too. Keep on piping.